Gee, thanks a lot, Ken. Now, I found your comment pretty humorous, and I'm sure it was intended that way, but it generated a lot of emails, and so we need to talk about that. Here's your story, let's begin. The water's fine, come on, dive in. The future's here, it's right before your eyes. So I do a video on the climate and how it's been cold lately. But I throw in there the caution about the UV rays and about how particularly bad it is here <clears throat> and how you have to be careful because of the altitude and you're on the equator and that sort of thing. Now I thought, now I thought that was basic science class. I just thought everybody knew that. But his joke generated a lot of messages and emails more than I've had on a single issue, asking me, what am I talking about? Why am I saying that? It, is, it's, it can't be true because of the, the comment that he made. How can that be when we're so far from the sun, billions of miles, and we're just thousands of feet above the earth? How can that make a difference? And I was just blown away because I really thought this was common knowledge. But we're going to make it so, at least for people watching this video. So I'm going to give a quick rundown on why what I said is true. And Ken, I owe you one. So here's Ken's comment that he left on uh, YouTube. And it seems pretty harmless and kind of funny. But then... A number of things go into this. First is the angle, that we get a more direct angle. A direct angle means it's more concentrated. The further you go from the equator, the more diffused, the more spread out the UV rays are. The second issue is the Earth is actually bulged, so it's fatter around the Earth. The third issue is the altitude. How does the altitude affect it? For every thousand feet up, there's 4% increase. So at 8,000 feet, you've got 30 to 35% increase of exposure. As a side note, Mount Everest is not the tallest mountain in the world if you go from the center of the Earth. As a result of that bulge that I mentioned, it's actually located right here in Ecuador. And it's uh, debated how to measure it, but from the true sense, it's the highest point in the world. So how does altitude affect the UV rays? If we're so far from the sun, how can that happen? Well, it's actually pretty simple. The UV rays are stopped by the atmosphere. And the effective part of the atmosphere that affects UV rays is only 10 miles up. And so it's not really a comparison of Earth to the sun, but it's rather a comparison of sea level. Well, gee, thanks a lot, Ken. You know you to the uh, highest point of the atmosphere.